Hi everyone, this will be a quick tutorial on how to install the latest uh, AMD video driver on your legacy GPU such as R9390. So this tutorial will be for GCN architecture and uh, here is the list of a few popular desktop GCN GPUs. You can pause the video now and uh, go through it. This is just the list of the most common ones, so it's not the full list. The whole info is here, so yeah, I'm just pause the video. Okay, so so download the driver. Scroll down first a bit, then click on G Legacy GCN and download the latest version. Click on it. Then uh, find the latest version zip file, 7 zip file. And just left click on it. Wait a few seconds. Also, if the download speed is very slow, then uh, click on problems downloading and then the uh, download speed will be fast. Okay, so I cancel it because I already have the file downloaded. Then go to Google. Write video download. Open this website. Click here. Scroll down a bit. Click here for download and support and click official download here okay so next you have these two files uh, assuming that you have WinRAR, WinZip or 7-zip if you don't have it then download it and install it so you can extract the driver but first double click the DDU click extract double click it again then right click it run it as administrator Click OK here. So here select GPU. Make sure that it's selected to AMD. Then click clean and restart. I will back to you once that will be done. Alright, I back. Let's proceed. Unzip the driver file now. Open the driver folder, right click on zsetup.exe and open it as administrator. Select simple setup, select standard if you just want to install the driver and benchmark if you want to do benchmarks like 3D mark, Geekbench maybe, yeah, something like that. Actually I don't know if Geekbench have GPU test in it. <coughs> Click got it here. Click install this driver software anyway. And you have to do that uh, like 10 more times approximately. So here select alternate, this will open the snappy driver installer. Uh, for me it works It works the best uh, because 
on some older driver versions i used it to have some issues with the official one but if uh, snappy driver installer will not work for you then you can try official one so yeah but in this uh, tutorial we'll select an alternate one make sure that uh, you will check the create restore point checkbox here and click on the driver for your gpu so if you have r9390 then it will say r9390x uh, that's normal uh, that's a feature from developer he basically changing the gpu name for a uh, better compatibility with games so your r9380 will become r9380x and that's fine that's just the name change it uh, does not boost the power we're just uh, changing the name don't worry about that <laughs> click install and uh, I will back to you once that will be done. Alright, the installation process is completed, but not fully yet. So, this part might take 2 minutes, it might take 10 minutes, it depends on the system. For me, it took like 2 minutes, for you, it might take the same, or maybe up to 10 minutes. So, just keep waiting if it's on the black screen or something like that. So, now do not reboot your pc don't do that so click uh, exit here so here it asks you if you want to install the md radeon software uh, i want the software so i will click yes you need to have internet connection to download it I'll click essential because I want to have a uh, real life. So uh, I could click standard as well, but uh, maybe I'll buy a VR set in future. <laughs> Okay, so this whole menu is uh, mostly for dual GPUs like R9 295X. I only have one GPU, so I will just select AMD default. If you have only one GPU, then select AMD default as well. So on this menu, it's the same thing. I will just select single because uh, I'm only using single GPU. Click next, next here, click got it. Click the display here. Make sure that the uh, VHQL logo it says yes. If it says no, then uh, we'll get back to that later. Click exit. You can read that dialogue. Uh, it tells about that if you have no in that VHQL logo. Uh, but don't worry, you can fix that. Click OK. Launch uh, Emerging Zone Extras menu. So uh, you also can click Finish because the whole setup process is, uh, is finished. So if you just want to have like normal driver, then you can just close this video right now. It's, it's done pretty much, but uh, if you had the no in that VHQL signature, then you'll need to write 7 here and click enter and that will fix it.
the, that will allow you to open uh, online games which have anti-cheat in them and which complain it about uh, uh, unre unregistered uh, system files or something like that. So to open additional options, you will need to write six here and click enter. This whole menu have a bunch of options and uh, I noticed that it also has second page here. So to, to open second page, you will need to write F and click enter. And here's some more bunch of options. So I'll go just uh, with the a few important uh, important ones and uh, the rest you can check by yourself. Uh, the whole menu have uh, a really nice description on every option. So yeah. So one of the common issues is uh, some people have PCI boost driver issue uh, on the it asks about reboot on every boot. Then you can try that work around which is mentioned here mm. sometimes uh, some people have uh, Radeon software of wrong version then you can try this work around page. so some people uh, which want a resizable bar uh, they will have they will need to have 8 gigabytes gpu for that i think some 4 gigabytes gpu might work but i'm not sure apparently rx uh, 470 480 570 580 do not, do not work if they are 4 gigabytes at least i think so one user commented that he was unable to activate it and uh, pretty much every single user on the forum also commented that so to enable the accessible bar support, you will need to click either uh, enable or enable with ASIC. It's it, it is, it's quite different for uh, every single GPU, so you might try both of these. And uh, that's uh, that will not fully enable the accessible bar support. You will also need to enable accessible bar support in your BIOS and uh, above 4G decoding in your BIOS. To enter your BIOS, you will need to restart your computer and. On most of the motherboards, you will need to just spawn delete key on your keyboard and you will enter the bias. For some uh, motherboards, it might be F2, maybe F1, maybe F12 even. I don't know. But yeah, mostly delete key will work. So, let's see what else is here. 17 17 is uh, if you want to have better mining hash rates pretty nice thing even today for example even today r 9390 might still make some money i think i'm not sure but if you will undervolt it then it might do that it it can be undervolted pretty high in mining i remember that Uh, I just hope that I did not miss it anything important here. GP barbecue, you can uh, like if you have uh, a CPU with 32 threads, you can select 32 here. If you have like uh, R5 3600. Uh, yes. R5 3600, then I uh, select uh, Q size 12. I only have 8 thread CPU, so I keep default. Oh my god, <laughs> I misclicked it, sorry. The depth is up hard, I, I misclicked it. Accidentally click it on 64. Uh, that's fine though. That since I I'm not doing anything, it's it's fine. Okay, so we went through pretty much most of the important stuff. Uh, you can check uh, other options here. Every single option here have really nicely done description. So just read it, and it will explain pretty much everything. Thanks, thanks to the developer for that. Really nice descriptions. 
you can check your driver version in the MD software, which I'm opening right now on the second screen. Click skip this and here you can see the driver version. It's, it's the latest one. You can also check it in Google. So if you have some questions, you can write in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer your question. You also can ask the question on the forum. Lots of very tech people there, which know a lot about errors and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day or night. Bye bye. Also, I forgot to say that uh, after all your edits here in this um, additional options menu, you will need to write 28 here and click enter and that will restart your system. Okay, bye again. <laughs>